everyone it's your girl Tika Deshaun thank you all so much for tapping in and tuning in to all things ruthless home of the ruthless addict I am just here to bring you guys a little bit of what Lenny Daikon Thomas has been doing um, I know you guys have saw our live a lot of you did catch our live if not I've included a clip where he talks about his latest feature project entitled the beggar man now the beggar man is a movie about a veteran of the iraq war reduced to panhandling in new york's concrete jungle he stumbles upon a relic from the 70s a suitcase laden with cash with the guidance of an area wise guy he tries to wipe the slate clean and reinvent his life you guys i am absolutely looking forward to seeing what is going to happen in this particular film of course it's it's got our guy lenny thomas like who wouldn't want to see um lenny thomas perform in something other than him being daikon now of course we absolutely love him as daikon but it is also awesome to see him outside of the black suit, outside of the leather jacket, outside of the mean exterior, outside of who he portrays as Daikon. I can tell you guys, I've seen another independent film that Lenny Thomas was in, and he absolutely killed it. There was a comedic side to him in that particular film, and I feel like this particular film right here is going to be... A whole different tone I think he's gonna kind of have like a sad note to himself um, but he's going to prevail through everything that he is going through so we hope now I haven't seen the movie but I'm absolutely looking forward to it coming to any screen so that we can check it out but listen to Lenny tell us what this movie is about since we got since we have the Lenny Thomas in the freaking building, sir, tell yeah. us what you're working on because I know you stay busy. I know there's yeah. something other than ruthless because you, you every time I turn around, you're doing something else. But what's up? What is next with you? Tell us, please. My goodness, I don't even know where to start. Like, I got I blessedly have ruthless. I just finished shooting the uh, the first. No, I, I can't even say the first. My latest feature film that I'm I'm uh, also the lead of. It's crazy. Um, it's crazy. It's called The Beggar Man. It's oh. about a, a homeless uh, Iraq war vet who stumbles on a bag full of money from the 1970s. And then as soon as that happens, it's like the world has guns on him. So he's running from his life. It's like a mix between Escape from New York, Carlitos Way, and Taxi Driver. It's nuts. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Crazy. The Beggar Man, directed by Frankie Montero, which is set to be his second movie, with The Operation being his directorial debut. The Operation was accepted into quite a few independent film festivals overseas last year. The Operation came in second place out of 80 featured films submitted to Pinewood Studios for first-time filmmaking sessions in 2022. Montero credits his first film as the reason he was able and granted the opportunity to direct his second feature film, The Beggar Man Film. The Beggar Man stars Peter Green, who plays a character by the name of Vinny. You may remember Green as a leading cast member villain opposite Jim Carrey and Cameron Diaz in The Mask in 1984 and as Redfoot in highly acclaimed crime drama The Usual Suspects in 1995. In addition, the same year, he had a supporting role as a bad guy in Steven Seagal's film Under Siege 2, Dark Territory in 1995. Green has played memorable roles in the films Blue Streak, Ticker, Training Day, Brother in Arms, In Games, and so much more. He's made guest appearances in the TV series Hawaii Five O, Justified, and he appeared as a policeman in Prodigy of Mob Dick's music video for ABC's and was the focal point of House of Pain's music video for Fed Up. 
Recently, Green delivered an emotionally charged performance as Jordan Blaine in season two premiere of Tim Furton's award-winning crime drama thriller web series, The Jersey Connection. The project has garnered many awards on the festival circuit with Green receiving two wins and another five number nations for his acting performance. With that being said, the cast of The Beggar Man also includes Miko, Peter Gaggio, Melissa L. Williams, who is also known as Ruth in Tyler Perry's Ruthless, Gio Drascani as Gene, Jasmine Davis as Kat, also known as Imani from The Shot, and of course, our own Lenny Thomas, who plays The Beggar Man himself. I am absolutely looking forward to seeing this film. Filming for The Beggar Man is complete and will be submitted for Sundance Film Festival and Tribeca Film Festival. I'm looking forward to it, absolutely. Again, I said I'm looking forward to seeing Lenny take himself out of Daikon and become The Beggar Man. And I also am looking forward to seeing the chemistry that he and Melissa portray in this particular film um she's going to portray a photographer like i said and i just want to see the two of them work together i'm ex i'm absolutely excited for this i'm absolutely excited for lenny as well as mr montero who is the writer slash director of the film the beggar man will you go see a film about a veteran who has a homeless veteran at that who has found a bag full of money Hey guys, make sure you head over to Instagram and follow their page, The Beggar Man. Give them some support just so they know that there are fans, people everywhere that are looking forward to seeing this new project. I'm just asking. I would go. I would absolutely go, okay? All right, you guys. Well, that's about it. Thank you all so much for tuning in to All Things Ruthless, home of the Ruthless Addicts, and you already know, stay ruthless.